So it's that time of day. It's just gone 11.30 on a Tuesday, which means that Mr. Steve Hudson is in the building. Good morning, Steve. <laughs> Good morning, Jax. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine. A little bit crazy today, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's what that's what a cold will do to you. Yes, it does indeed. Yeah. It's right. <laughs> the temperature has gone to the brain. Yeah, exactly, mind. exactly. Well, it's really good to have you back you. in the studio. For those of you who haven't heard Steve in the studio on a Tuesday, Steve is from Superstars, and they are an organisation changing up the recruitment world um, and staffing and ensuring that you, as a talented individual, really are the crux of, um, of, of, of what they're doing. Absolutely right, yes. And... Also, then, for the companies which they're working with, it's really about making sure that the right people, um, you know, are matched up with the right companies. And they're not just stopping there, but mentoring and uh, and caring for each individual. As one of our very early emailers, when Steve was first in the studio, said, is taking the pimping out of recruitment. <laughs> I love that phrase. <laughs> and it's very true. It's very true. <laughs> so, um, so this week, we're going to be discussing putting in the groundwork and who could recommend you. Mm-hmm. So I want to start off, Steve, by asking you about really just to clarify uh, what you mean by putting in the groundwork. Are you talking in regard to the interviews themselves, to CVs or at the beginning of, you know, when you're making the decision that you want to find new work or all of the above? Um, Basically, typical Stevie style, (laughs) it's all of the above. Um, When you're... um deciding to go for another job, um, there's really is the groundwork starts from the very, very beginning. So making that decision of saying, hello, I'm unhappy for where I am right now, and then deciding that you want to move forward. Nine times out of 10, when people start going down that road, they've gone through a, a, um, what I call a hierarchy of unhappiness in their role, mm-hmm. which usually could be something to do with the manager that hasn't worked out quite well for them. It could be with a particular project. It could be that they're tired because they've uh, been working on too many hours and doing those particular things. Um, you know, the, just the energy is not there anymore from the way they feel they're not progressing. So there's no career growth. Yeah. And finally, lastly, it's actually about money. So it's Mm -hmm. the very last one on sort of the mode. But you have to go through all those processes before you even realise that you're ready to actually move on to the next job. Because sometimes people, excuse me, talk about wanting to find a new job um but it's it is all talk it's not quite sort of doing any action and and that might be because actually they've got you know a part of them is ready but not fully not fully adjusted to it yeah that's really true and so how does one sort of get themselves into the mindset where they pretty much know do you know what i do know that i want to move on is it about writing lists and then you know having it how can they get themselves into the mindset to actually start putting in that groundwork um, there's, there's two things you can do. First and foremost is actually um, talk to your friends and family and your support network just to see how you're feeling. Are you just moaning? Because we all moan. We're human beings and we love it. So that's what we all do. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Or is it generally a real reason? And your friends and support network people will tell you that straight away. They'll say things like, that doesn't sound right to me. Mm. You're unhappy. Um, you don't smile anymore. What's going on on that side of things? So that's the first step. And then the, the another step is what I've called the Stevie list. So, and it really is a very, very simple career counseling technique to help you decide if you're ready to move on from your job. And it's quite simple. What you need to do is find your comfortable place. So uh, in men's cases, it's usually in the bathroom, which is quite funny. But, you know. (laughs) Told you it was going to be a crazy day today. So, but all you have to do is find that comfortable space, sit down with a list. And what you want to do is write down three things, three key words that actually trigger the emotions and the um, logic in you to decide what you want to do. And it really is love hate and goals so what you want to do is think about for the first sort of three years or whatever it is you've been in your career and say to yourself what's it i loved about my job and it could be absolutely anything so write down you know the chair that you're sitting in the view the manager that you're working with the projects everything that you think about those things and Mm -hmm. just write all those things down the second thing is everything you hate about the job. And again, you'll probably find that a long list because, again, we love to moan, yeah. which is a fair thing. So write all those things down as well. And again, it could be the coffee or, or <laughs> a particular situation or money or whatever. Just put all those things down. Once you've done that, take a deep breath because it's a very difficult thing to do. Turn around and ask yourself, where do I see myself in one year's time? And then write that underneath the goals. Is that 
traveling or is that you know you're going to be a web manager or is that going to be best radio presenter of the world <laughs> you know those kind of things then put those things down once you've done that and you're creating the list can be short as long as you want them to be doesn't matter take a breath and then come back to it 24 hours later because believe you me once you've done this technique mm. it's very tiring on you because your brain's doing something about it so what you then do is readdress it again the next day and, and look at those three key words. Those three key words are definitely very important. So if you think, think about this for a second, when you love something, you're happy and you tend to take it for granted. But yeah. the, so you need to know what makes you happy. Mm. So right going through that list, you'll see what makes you happy. And is that relevant in your job right now? Yeah. When you look at the hate one, it's the thing that we all do the ostrich thing. We all put heads in the sand and hide away from it. We don't confront it or deal with it, mm. especially in our cultures. We're very good at that. Mm. So, but if you see it in a black and white list, you can look down that and, and the hate list is about resolution. So if you see something simple like my chair's a bit creaky, go <laughs> get yourself some oil and put that and that becomes a resolution. Yeah. If it's about I'm dealing with a manager that doesn't like me, you know, think about it. It's 50 50 communication. Can you go and talk to that manager and improve that situation? If not, then you know that's a definite thing that's not working for you. And then you can go through it. But there's a realization of what you can do and what you're aware of, which you don't like doing, but you can either accept, resolve, or move forward from. And then when you've sort of got those two lists from that, you can write a little pricey to yourself saying, you know, um, I, Stevie, love being with people. I love being in an, an innovative new role. I, don't, I hate admin. It's true, guys. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but I've got great people to look after me. Um, so it becomes a resolution. And mm -hmm. then sort of look at my goals. And if it says to open four offices next year, then I can build a plan to do that. So when it comes to us as individuals, we can also build that plan as a talent. So it could be I want to be you know, a web manager. Do you have the skills, what you've seen from the last three years? Mm. No. Great. Let's address that and put those skills in for you. So that could be mentoring great training courses, just going meeting people. And asking for extra responsibility. Absolutely. And that's what I mean about the uh, groundwork of that. So it's not, I'm just going to get a job. Yeah. It's like, you really have to think about this. So, Stevie, I'm picturing lots of men on the toilets now <laughs> in their comfortable place with pe pieces of paper <laughs> writing down their list. Leave me alone. I'm writing my Stevie list. But no, but in seriousness, you know, it really is, I think, about writing things down. Mm -hmm. And, and you've, you've put it really simply there. It's love, it's hate, and it's your goals and yes. inspiring for them. Um, and I guess that can be applied then to... Do you think that can be applied to the process? So say, for example, um, you are then aware, right, I need to be going for this particular job. And maybe that's, you know, when you're looking at the job description, it's like, what do I love about it? What do I hate about it? Yes, and what do I aspire to get from it? Yeah. So it's a system really that can be used at every part of the job <clears throat> search. Absolutely. I mean, that's what's a good. It's a great technique that you can look at different times of when you're feeling or looking at something to make it right for you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, for instance, um, you're absolutely right. So the problem with job descriptions, it's like it's a magic wand wish list. Yeah. And, and it's, it's not really creating what the job really is like. This is basically a line manager or HR saying, this is what we ultimately want. Mm -hmm. so, so using this technique allows you to pick what you should be sort of like going for. So groundwork number two then is like, okay, how do I sort of like make sure that I'm answering correctly from my CV or from my letter or from my phone conversation, which yeah. is a scary thing to do, and make sure that the key points are covered in those areas for you. But it's got to match what you ultimately want. Mm. Don't let any job description tell you where you need to go. You should know where you need to go. That's very important. Very, very good advice. We're going to get a little bit of music now. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about um, some more about uh, putting in the groundwork, but also about recommendations as well. And it might be that you feel that you have got lots of experience, but no one to recommend you, uh, perhaps because you want to uh, keep your, your job search on the down low. That could be one of the reasons. Um, but anyhow, stay tuned and we'll be talking all things recommendations in just a moment. Track that we have on now, Lil Star, featuring CeeLo, and of course by Khalees. 